Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so you are notified of all my new content. Today my Daily Thoughts is on the Lost Generation, also known as Generation Jones. Also, it happens to be the generation I'm part of. So now let's get into my Daily Thoughts. The Lost Generation, Generation Jones. Generation Jones refers to people born between 1954 and 1964 to 65. We sometimes call them the Lost Generation. They have this nickname because they were born between the Baby Boomers and Generation X birth dates. Generation X people were born between the mid 60s and the late 70s. Some people, however, insist that Generation Jones birth dates began in 1956 or 1957. If you were born between 1954 in 1956, in 1964, and 1965, you might also call yourself a Jen Joneser. Initially, we mistakenly lumped Jen Jonesers with baby boomers because they were born during a high birth rate period. However, over time, sociologists began to embrace Generation Jones as a separate generation. Baby boomers were babies born immediately after the Second World War when couples started thinking about starting a family. After the Second World War, there was a baby boom, hence the name. American author Jonathan Pontel first coined the term in a 2011 USA Today article, Stuck in the Middle, he described Generation Jones. It is a lost or forgotten generation in the sense that a lot of attention is given to the baby boom generation, and then there was a whole Gen X babble Pelosa that started in the early 1990s. I would argue that the spotlight passed over a large generation in between. Jonesers and Boomers have a lot in common. The two generations border each other. Both generations were children during a period of economic boom. However, for the Jonesers, that changed during their late teens and when they came of age. During the 1970s, they faced a deteriorating economy due to the oil crisis. The souring economy and the Watergate scandal contributed to a changing culture mood. In fact, the Joneses' experience made them much more cynical than the idealistic boomers. Boomers were teens and young adults during the decade of flower power, hippies, and the Beatles, i.e. the 1960s. Baby boomers were all about make love, not war, and peace on earth. Joneses had huge expectations in the 60s as children. However, as young adults in the 1970s and 1980s, they confronted high unemployment and de-industrialization. Generation Jones acquired an unfulfilled jonesing or yearning quality for the more prosperous 1960s. If you were born between 1955 and 1965, you are more likely to have grown up watching The Brady Bunch rather than Leave It to Beaver. If you remember President Kennedy's funeral at all, you mostly remember your parents' reaction to the loss rather than feeling a loss yourself. You were too young to protest the Vietnam War and too old for Sesame Street when it began. 
You never really felt like a boomer, even though your age slotted you in that category, and you never really felt like a Gen Xer either. There are 42 million of you in the United States, including President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama, who were children in the 1960s and adolescents in the 1970s. Until recently, your cohorts were unrecognized, lost between the much publicized baby boom and baby bust generations. Joan deserves remember what life was like before the rise of technology, and they long for that simplicity. They are willing to unplug occasionally and also to use technology as a tool for social betterment and for personal gain and convenience. Generation Jones is the social cohort of the latter half of the baby boomer generation and the first years of Generation X. But now, thanks to writer-speaker Jonathan Pontell, you've got your own name and identity, Generation Jones. The name refers to both being anonymous or invisible and to the slang term jonesing, an offshoot of keeping up with the Joneses. That means a craving or strong desire for something. I hope today's daily thoughts on Generation Jones, my generation, has been interesting and helpful to you. Please leave me comments down in the comment section. I've left additional information in the description to this video. I'll be back the next time with more daily thoughts. But until then, I offer you peace and blessings from the West Side. I'll see you guys the next time. Until then, please follow me on all my other social media. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace!